Tons of donations are piling up at a special donation site in Isla Vista right now. Most of those items are from students moving out for the summer. They will be sold at a massive charity yard sale later this month. It's another example of what's right. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary has more on that. I've got a printer and yeah. clothes and a lot of shoes. They're giving back to Isla Vista. Uh, you got a desk and a chair and a rug. As students move out, their leftovers are coming to Embarcadero Hall for a week of sorting and then a giant community yard sale. Well, I just hope that some students or community members get some use out of it as much as I have, so it's good. Not all of these items came out of Isla Vista apartments and dorms. As a matter of fact, these items right here came out of the University Faculty Club, and it's going through a complete remodel right now. This is a... Um, Hawaiian shirt and it's a button up so that'll probably it's in good condition yeah it's actually pretty nice some of the clothes are in remarkably clean and barely used condition and they'll be sold in a specialized area like a boutique I take nice articles in of clothing and kind of make an outfit and then post it on the Facebook page and say like need an outfit for a job interview for a date or yeah. whatever a graduation so um yeah it's kind of you can have your wardrobe for the whole year and nobody would even imagine that you got them in iv <laughs> out of the floor but you know so it's fantastic clothing really <laughs> yes is it clothing or what and the sale has everything including beds dressers couches desks Lamps, microwaves, refrigerators, musical equipment, and sports gear. Last year, 30 tons of items were donated. Funds raised on the weekend sale June 21st and 22nd will go to Isla Vista Charities. Thank you. In 2013, $37,000 was contributed. Back on the streets of Isla Vista, Marborg is out to pick up and crush any couches and other furniture left behind. <laughs> Residents here have been known to set them on fire, an arson violation that can land those involved in jail. In Isla Vista, John Palmentary, News Channel 3.